yeah hello everybody till now uh, we have been uh, learning about digital design uh, using uh, gates uh, so in today's class uh, now we are just going to uh, see uh, how these gates are made uh, from the basic uh, transistors okay so uh, in today we will uh, go through the several uh, digital logic families uh, right from the uh, beginning where in 1960s uh, where resistor transistor logic came into being and then uh, slowly slowly as the technology progressed uh, we have reached a CMOS technology. So in 1961, the first uh, digital logic uh, which was implemented was known as regis uh, resistor transistor logic uh, in which the digital logics, this was uh, using discrete components, okay, not in an uh, IC. Okay, so, uh, so a, a resistor and a transistor was used on a, a PCB, okay, a separate resistor and a separate transistor uh, to realize a uh, resistor transistor logic okay we'll uh, see how these circuits are implemented uh, then came the diode transistor logic again uh, these were uh, discrete uh, and then came the uh, transistor transistor uh, logic okay uh, they shouldn't be discrete here uh, no, 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 there's a mistake here in 19 the transistor transistor logic uh, in which the uh, ic is uh, started coming up okay uh, so integrated uh, circuits okay it's not a microprocessor it it, it was like uh, ttl uh, ic's uh, with uh, with with nand gates nor nor gates uh, uh, such ic started uh, coming into uh, the production okay uh, now uh, uh, it, it's called maybe discrete because uh, it, it's not a microprocessor it's an uh, this is only just the uh, required and uh, a gate okay the, so uh, so these are the kind of ICs which are uh, still available in the market. Uh, they are at a pretty uh, cheap rate, like an AND gate, and a, uh, a chip of 7400, uh, which has got uh, four uh, two input AND gates, uh, cost uh, uh, close to 10 to 20 rupees only. Uh, so, so all these TTL gates are very, very widely used as on date also uh, for uh, realizing small functions on a PCB. So these chips, uh, they do, and, and they are pretty uh, cheap also, right? Uh, okay. Uh, after that, came the uh, no, ECL logic. The first microprocessor, Intel microprocessor uh, 360 was based on this emitter couple logic. So these four, uh, lo first four logic families, uh, they were all uh, bipolar junction transistor based. Okay. Uh, and then in 1974, uh, the CMOS technology came into being. Uh, now the major advantage of the CMOS uh, technology that uh, we will see that it, it is got a much more uh, no, uh, 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 lesser power requirement. So there is no uh, static dissipation. In, in CMOS technology. That means when the input is 0 or the input is 1, there is no uh, current flowing from the uh, power supply to the ground. Whereas in all these uh, four BJT based logic families, uh, whenever the transistor is on, uh, you will find that uh, there is a uh, path available for current to flow between VDD and ground. So they were all in a high power consuming uh, logic families, whereas from CMOS. So this was one of the uh, great advantages. Uh, and initially when it came, the size of the CMOS was 10 micrometer. And, and today in uh, 2021, uh, we have devices of 7 nanometer also. So the device uh, uh, no, CMOS has uh, been in the main uh, market player since 1974 but then uh, CMOS itself has undergone lot of changes. Uh, although the basic principle of operation and the device structure remains same, the uh, size of the transistors have uh, immensely reduced like from 10 micrometer to it has gone to 7 nanometer and also a lot of uh, architectural improvements in the CMOS based uh, designs have happened in the uh, past so many uh, years okay so let's uh, first try and understand how and uh, although you might be uh, you might have already learnt about bjt uh, in your uh, microelectronics class let's just uh, revise a little bit about it okay uh, so how does an uh, bjt work is you have an emitter or uh, uh, this is an npn transistor so you have an uh, emitter you have a base and you have an uh, collector so when you uh, forward bias bias the uh, bjt okay uh, so the current will flow from the uh, this is the p and this so, so for this is the forward bias junction uh, diode right so the current flows from the uh, base to emitter okay that is that is the holes right okay whereas the electrons you know, how do they flow they are going to uh, flow from the emitter to the base uh, but the electrons uh, when, when they you know, in, get injected into the base region uh, instead of being collected by the uh, base terminal majority of the electrons which get you know, uh, 
uh, which uh, cross through uh, from the electro from the emitter region to the base is swept away by the uh, collector so they collect collected by the collector so that is why it is known as a collector terminal emitter they emit the electrons uh, and collector they collect the electrons only small portion of that uh, goes to the base okay so uh, this is how this uh, functions so uh, why this happens can be uh, understood from the uh, structure which is uh, shown out here uh, and shown out here also see see this is n this is p this is uh, the collector region they are uh, fabricated like this a small n well uh, and uh, after that a very very uh, thin uh, you know, this also you know it is not up to the scale a very thin uh, base you know, well will be made uh, this is the emitter this is the correction taken a thorn uh, a small you know, uh, p base well is made and then uh, sorrow all surrounding that then a collector is made so when the electrons get em and collector is given a positive voltage okay uh, with respect to the uh, base okay always this is at a much higher potential so when the electrons they get injected into the base region from elect from the uh, emitter because the base emitter is forward biased uh, you will find uh, electrons are available here so instead of getting uh, 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 and also the doping uh, here you have uh, a higher dope and base is lower dope so you will find uh, uh, the, this the electrons find it uh, much more attractive to go towards the collective because of towards the collector because of the higher potential which is uh, applied out here okay so this is how uh, and uh, BJT uh, works okay now if you see here uh, the current relations if I have to uh, write so this is the base current and this is the emitter current and this is the collector current so I can write the emitter current is sum of the base and the collector current uh, and generally the uh, collector current is now uh, beta times IB that means only a small portion of the emitter current goes uh, to, uh, from the emitter from the base region majority is from the no, uh, because this arrow is shown like this because uh, now we are talking in terms of uh, positive ions if we, we if we consider the electrons electrons are being uh, pumped into the emitter region a small amount of uh, no, electrons come to the base majority goes to the collector okay so the the, uh, the flow of current is generally flow of positive ions so hence these uh, no, directions are shown like this okay uh, now if you see here uh, the ratio beta defines the uh, no, uh, relation between ic and uh, beta so it is generally from 20 to uh, 200 okay uh, beta uh, so uh, the <coughs> that means in a, uh, no, a 20 the character current is generally 20 times to 200 times the current of uh, 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 current ib okay ic is equal to 20 times ib to 200 times ib so that is the range you will find majority current is in, uh, ib uh, ic out here uh, and then uh, alpha defines the relation uh, between uh, ie and ic so it will it is like beta divided by uh, 1 plus beta so it is 0 0.95 to 0 0.995 that is majority of the electron uh, current uh, the emitter current is uh, coming from the collector so this uh, and, and that fraction is given by uh, alpha okay uh, having understood this basics uh, let's now uh, try and uh, see how these uh, various circuits uh, function right uh, so uh, also you can have an uh, this is an npn transistor you could have an uh, pnp transistor also so this also works in a uh, similar fashion only thing is uh, the uh, holes will be injected from the uh, emitter side and majority of them will be uh, those uh, holes will be swept by the uh, collector so only the thing is the majority carriers here uh, they change out here okay uh, so now uh, this is how uh, we can use an bjt uh, to implement a, a switch or uh, in this particular case it is uh, no, an uh, inverter okay how do we uh, implement an inverter with a simple uh, bjt and a resistor is shown here now if i apply a zero voltage here so this uh, no, ib is equal to zero so to switch on this transistor since this is an uh, forward bias you have to give a voltage uh, which is greater than uh, 0.7 volt right this is this is uh, you know uh, npn transistor like so the base and the emitter is an, uh, a p and n type so you need to give around 0.7 volt at least to switch it on so if i give a zero volt this will remain uh, switched off and if i am going to take a voltage you know, output from the collector side uh, it will the entire vcc is available okay and whereas when if i given um, you know, uh, in, in digital voltage if i give a high voltage out here this transistor will be uh, switched on so an ib will start flowing so uh, and an ib will beta times ic will start flowing out here so whatever is the voltage vc available that will get dropped across the resistance 
IR drop so you will get an uh, zero voltage out here right so uh, because when the current flows the voltage available uh, here will be VCC minus ICRC so uh, if you give an, uh, an uh, voltage out here so uh, no, because a uh, small IB may be flowing here but IC will be very large so that will cause uh, the entire voltage to get dropped against RC okay now the only uh, problem out here here is uh, because uh, no, the, the, you, you can't have the entire voltage being dropped across this resistance because when this transistor gets switched off, uh, switched on, even in uh, saturation, around 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 volt, about 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 volt will be uh, available across the CE. Okay, so so um, so the, the current gets uh, limited out here, and the voltage at <coughs> although I should get a uh, zero uh, and high level, I don't get zero. Instead of zero, I get an uh, around 0 0.2 volt. Okay, uh, and high obviously when there is no current flowing, I'll get the entire uh, voltage out here. Okay, so uh, only that uh, zero is not a proper zero here. So that is one of the uh, disadvantage of this inverter. Let, let's see uh, some of the, uh, based on this, uh, how do we make uh, different logics. Okay. Now, if you see uh, this particular uh, logic is an uh, RTL uh, NAND gate. Okay. Now, uh, what does RTL NAND has, to, what is the function of the NAND gate? If both are one, it should be a zero. And for all other conditions, the output has to be one. Now, if you see, even if one of them is off, like if there is a zero here or there is a zero here or both of zero here, then they cannot be a current which can flow from uh, VDD to uh, ground. So in that case, uh, you will have the entire voltage available here VCC. Okay. Uh, now when both of them are on, uh, if this is also on and this is also on, then a current will start uh, flowing from here, right? And this VCC voltage will get dropped across R2, right? Okay. Then th the only uh, point is it will not come to zero out here. There will be around 0 0.2 volt which will be required to keep this transistor on, and there will be 0 0.2 volt around uh, required to keep the T1 on and so instead of a pure uh, zero signal you get a 0.4 volt out here okay so that is uh, one disadvantage you can say okay uh, so the second uh, disadvantage is uh, when this is one and this is one okay uh, both are one this transistor is both the transistors are uh, switched on right so there will be uh, so you will find some micro amperes current is uh, has to flow here like this uh, from the VCC to ground to get this node to uh, zero so that means means it is a static dissipation is there that means that uh, even if one one is given here continuously a power will be consumed in this particular circuit okay and uh, that will result in a uh, heating up the i square r heat is there and continuous power dissipation is there in this particular circuit so that is one of the uh, disadvantages uh, similarly uh, i can have an, an nor gate okay in, in the nor gate also if you see here uh, a, a b is given here in uh, parallel there is a single transistor uh, which has been used now if if both a and b uh, are uh, zero zero then this transistor will be uh, switched off uh, so uh, zero zero actually this uh, zero zero is coming from a previous uh, state right uh, like suppose an and gate is there so there could be some 0.4 volt uh, here instead of a zero it could be slightly higher than zero so just to ensure that this is uh, switched off properly you can give one resistor and a uh, small negative voltage out here right so so that when when it is zero zero it will ensure that this transistor is cut off and you have an uh, full uh, VDD available here. So if any one of them is uh, high out here, okay, that will be sufficiently high uh, with respect to this negative voltage and the ratios will be uh, resistance have to be so used that if one of them is high, if, if it is VCC, then there will be uh, adequate voltage available here to switch on this transistor. So even if one of them is high out here, this transistor will be uh, switched on uh, and the output will go to uh, zero. Okay. Uh, so because all the current will start flowing here. So this works like an, a NOR gate, right? NOR gate is what? Even if one of them is one, it has to be zero. So if any or none of them is one here, this transistor will be switched on and the output will, will be zero. For zero, zero, it will be cut off and output will be high. Now, uh, when this is on, if you see here, uh, the, the again, this here also, in this also, it will not be a perfect zero. There will be around 0.2 volt, which is available across this trans, uh, transistor between the uh, emitter or collector and the emitter. And the second issue is, again, when this is on, there will be a constant uh, path available from VDD to ground. So there will be a power dissipation out here, right? So uh, now, if you see the advantages out here, uh, 
the advantage is here the primary uh, advantage is uh, that uh, it is an uh, RTL uh, technology uh, in, uh, minimum number of transistors uh, and resistors were uh, used so this is on a PCB so this design see if you see if you have to implement an, an uh, 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 simple uh, <coughs> and NAND gate two transistors and three resistors were uh, required okay so so the design was uh, pretty simple so there are uh, uh, the, the the drawbacks are here is uh, uh, the, uh, power consumption which we already discussed and and if you see a passive pull up passive pull up means when when this voltage needs to be brought to zero so these transistors they are active transistors they will uh, quickly uh, bring this and uh, discharge this node uh, right uh, whereas if it has to go to high then then this needs to be charged through the resistance so rc uh, there will be an r and there will be you know, some node capacitance out here right that comes from the next stage or uh, to the interconnect channel so this node needs to be uh, so if you find that uh, the charging up is uh, pretty uh, slow so if you want to uh, 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 make that and the charging faster you have to decrease the value of the resistance but if you do that then when you are switching it on there will be a high current power dissipation right uh, because if r is low then you will find a lot of current is going to flow like this so that is a trade off so design trade off is there right so there is an, a passive pull up issue uh, out here a limited fan out again an so when if this transistor is going to uh, drive another uh, uh, nand gate okay so that has to provide the base current right so here so as you keep Keep increasing the fan out more and more base currents and more and more current will start flowing uh, to you know to, to from from here uh, to the next stages a fan out means the number of you know, similar gates which are this is driving okay so if you keep connecting more and more you know, uh, gates to this output more and more uh, IB will flow and then the VCC will start dropping and uh, the, the output voltage here will start dropping because uh, if, if it is driving on no and a, and a, uh, gates then entire VCC will be available if it is driving one gate then a VCC minus IBR2 if it is driving two gates VCC minus two IBR2 right so that slowly slowly the output will start and uh, uh, from coming from VDD to below so the noise margin gets affected right uh, so uh, and ultimately this voltage will come uh, below what is permitted for an uh, high voltage so those are the uh, issues okay a limited fan out and no rail to rail output and uh, that means this output voltage uh, is not from uh, 0 to all right and it, it is if you see the voltage cannot be from an uh, uh, zero is not a perfect zero here so it, it, it is an uh, this uh, if for no load conditions you get uh, no, full voltage but for uh, um, uh, for zero we find that in this particular uh, configuration it is 0 0.4 volt or above uh, here at least 0.2 volt will be dropped so zero is not perfect so that's why we uh, call it no rail to rail uh, output okay uh, now uh, we, the second uh, logic family which we are going to uh, discuss is known as uh, DTL logic uh, in which uh, uh, diodes have been uh, used to perform a uh, logical function okay now if you see here uh, now if, if both the diodes are uh, one out here and uh, both inputs a b are one here then these diodes will be uh, reverse biased so you have this voltage v1 uh, r1 r2 r4 so this transistor will be uh, switched on so you have to uh, uh, these resistance are uh, so you know the ratios are so adjusted that uh, when when they, these both there's no current flowing in these diodes the potential available here will be adequate enough to switch on this transistor so it will uh, switch on this transistor and this output will be low so one one will produce an, an a zero so it uh, uh, acts like a NAND gate now if there is zero out here any in either a or b okay uh, if it is zero then uh, this current will start flowing from v1 r1 through the diode to the zero uh, so the voltage out here will be low okay uh, because uh, no, the voltage so from the previous stage a zero will be 0 0.2 volt and and this diode voltage will be 0.9 so this voltage around here will come around uh, 0.9 volt okay so uh, whereas to switch on this transistor 0.7 volt is required 0.9 volt is available here but because of this negative voltage which we have applied here uh, this will be uh, switched off and hence the uh, output voltage out here uh, 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 will be high because there's no current which is flowing here so so this works as an uh, NAND gate okay if you uh, try one one 
okay is the condition in which this will be uh, switched on and the output will go low if even if there is a zero in any of the terminals then there will be uh, this node will come to around 0.9 volt and because of this negative volt this will be uh, switched off okay again uh, the disadvantages is uh, first of all is uh, right and uh, a high power consumption you will say uh, whenever this transistor is switched on there will be a uh, power which will be uh, dissipated out here uh, passive pull up again uh, for the output node uh, to be and uh, so you, you it has it, it is been uh, pumped through the r2 so you uh, it's an uh, passive pull up a limited fan out and no rail to rail output so all these disadvantages which was there in, in rtl is available uh, here also all those major disadvantages are here also right and then came the uh, ttl logic okay in the uh, ttl logic uh, you will find okay uh, this is was the uh, first uh, uh, ICs you know, uh, which was uh, they are all uh, uh, assembled on a PCB using discrete components now the TTL ICs you know, they started fabricating so uh, you will find here you know, now when the both the inputs are one out here in this this transistor this is a single transistor with uh, multiple uh, emitter connections okay so when both the uh, inputs are high right so this transistor will be uh, switched off so the voltage will be available from here this transistor will be uh, switched on so uh, so this will in turn uh, switch it on here so when uh, both are one you will find this out this transistor is switched on and the output will be uh, zero out here right and and if any one of them is zero out here then this transistor will be uh, switched on okay so that will pull the uh, collector current from here in the reverse direction so this will be switched off and 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 now uh, if this is switched off then the voltage will be available uh, to this uh, transistor and this will be uh, switched on out here now the advantage out here in this uh, ttl gate uh, uh, is that uh, right uh, so this output voltage uh, uh, okay is being uh, pulled up through a, a transistor and also pulled down by a resistor so it has got an uh, active pull up uh, and pull down okay uh, so that is the reason so you have two transistors now the purpose of uh, this uh, diode is uh, like when when this is uh, switched on right so uh, suppose the output is zero out here when this is switched on you will have now a 0.7 volt across here and uh, this is also switched on so it will be 0.9 volt out here so if you don't uh, put this resistance here there is a possibility since 0.9 volt is here this also uh, will uh, start now uh, uh, this this will be around 0.2 volt right this will be point because this is switched on output is low now uh, so uh, in that case if it is 0.2 volt here and and a 0.9 volt here and 0.2 volt here uh, this might get switched on so uh, it is better to have one diode here which will uh, prevent this transistor getting uh, switched on only one of them uh, has to be uh, switched on at any uh, given uh, state okay uh, so uh, that is what uh, uh, this particular uh, thing does so uh, in this particular path uh, and, uh, there is no vcc to uh, no ground connection uh, continuously flowing but uh, here you will find okay uh, see see there is a uh, current which is uh, flowing here I, in this path also there is a uh, static current and uh, flowing so okay uh, so so that is again uh, some disadvantages of uh, ttl also uh, again no rail to rail output because uh, here also 0.2 volt will be dropped across here and even for the high case also uh, some voltage will be dropped across this here uh, so it doesn't have a rail to rail uh, output okay uh, but it has the major advantage is it is active uh, pull up and pull down so it is uh, much faster than the earlier uh, two gates which we have uh, discussed so that is one of the major advantages uh, and then came the uh, ECL logic so uh, no, 360 microprocessor was based on uh, this okay uh, here if you see again uh, a b uh, it is a nor gate uh, if any one of them is one here so this is an, a differential amplifier which you might have uh, studied in your uh, uh, basic uh, uh, el uh, electronics mec you uh, know uh, microelectronic circuit so this is an a uh, 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 differential amplifier so uh, the moment th so the current can either flow in this branch or this branch because there is a limited current available so if one of them goes one then the entire current switches from this branch to uh, this branch right so uh, that will uh, bring this voltage to uh, zero out here uh, so obviously this will go so this will uh, act like an, an a nor okay uh, and uh, similarly if you take an output here so if if both are uh, zero, uh, zero okay uh, then there will be an 
current which will be uh, on, uh, flowing in this branch so this transistor will be uh, switched on so you get an uh, or output here okay uh, so uh, but again the problem out here also was uh, high uh, current uh, dissipation okay so this was an uh, ecl uh, logic uh, now uh, uh, after that came the uh, mos okay so mosfets if you see here uh, uh, mosfets and uh, how do they uh, work and uh, let's just uh, understand the basics uh, if you see an n mosfet it is an uh, p type substrate then you have an a uh, source uh, and you have an uh, drain region out here uh, and uh, and the which are uh, n region so uh, normally uh, if you don't give any uh, gate voltage here and you give a positive voltage to the drain and uh, ground the source voltage so this uh, uh, np will be reversed bias right so there can't be any current which can uh, flow here so ideally no current will flow uh, uh, right but practically some pico pico area uh, pico amperes current uh, will will flow that's under the leakage current like and, and when we uh, switch on when you apply a positive voltage to the gate uh, then this p region uh, the, it will get an uh, inverted and because it will pull electrons from the bulk as well as the drain and the source because you have applied a uh, positive voltage on the gate and and then a uh, channel will be uh, uh, made out here right so and then now if you apply a positive voltage to the drain and the source so a current can flow so this this now the switch is uh, the drain and uh, current can flow so this is called as a switch on condition right uh, so now you can say yeah uh, on practically but then the maximum current which can uh, flow okay that will be a uh, limited it is not a pure short circuit uh, okay so the maximum current and uh, which can flow here also is limited you know in few micro amperes range okay so this is an, uh, known as an uh, on switch okay uh, so now if you see there are uh, certain limitations of using an nmos as an uh, switch uh, suppose uh, now this is vdd out here i give a ground here and i give an uh, gate voltage vdd for an uh, no, digital uh, no, no, logic operation so uh, if i give vdd here the output node uh, needs to be uh, charged to uh, vdd ideally right but that doesn't uh, happen okay with an nmos so if i give vdd here and if i give an uh, vdd to, to the gate which is corresponding to the logic one the output what happens is if you see it, it, the source will start charging and the moment it uh, reaches vdd minus vtn okay uh, what is vtn it is the threshold voltage of this device so at least that much voltage uh, needs to be applied between the gate and the source for this transistor to be uh, switched on okay so that doesn't happen so the moment it reaches an uh, vdd minus vtn the gate source voltage here is a uh, vtn so this transistor will uh, get uh, switched off so the output can maximum come up to uh, vdd minus uh, vtn okay so that is a uh, limitation of this nmos uh, switch when we are using it to transmit a, a one uh, whereas if if it is zero here and and suppose this output is already charged to uh, on a vdd and now uh, now by switching on this switch we want to bring this node to zero and that is known as transmitting a zero so uh, in that case what happens is this is gate and this is source here right why is it known as a uh, source in this particular case here is uh, because see this is vdd now the uh, current is has to uh, no, the uh, the positive ions will flow from drain to source like this right but since this is an nmos uh, electrons will flow from a uh, source to drain positive will flow from drain to source so that's why this is known as a uh, source because this the majority ca carrier out here is uh, electrons uh, in this case it is a uh, zero out here here uh, so whatever is the output voltage out here positive voltage which is an uh, accumulated over this node capacitance that needs to be brought to zero here so this becomes the uh, 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 electrons are going to uh, flow from source or the positive ions are going to flow from drain to source so that's why this is known as a uh, source now here this is vgs so uh, this you are applying vdd here this is uh, source here so vgs okay so vgs applied is greater than vtn so this transistor continues to be uh, remain uh, on uh, throughout so it is not really dependent on what is the voltage which is uh, available here so this voltage can completely get discharged to zero okay so nmos is a uh, perfect zero and uh, not a uh, one uh, similarly i can have an uh, p mosfet also 
the, so the so the p MOSFET structure is an exactly you know, opposite to that of NMOS. You have an uh, N well here, then you have an uh, p uh, regions in an N well. Uh, so that is why it is known as p. So if you apply an uh, uh, positive voltage here to the gate, okay. So there is, so this will uh, no, because this is N well. So you will have uh, these diodes are uh, reverse biased. Okay. So there is no currents will flow here. Okay. But when I give an uh, zero volt here uh, to the gate, uh, you will find now the, this is n right so this is you are giving a positive uh, no, uh, zero volt here uh, and and this uh, on the n well also you are giving an a positive voltage here so you will find uh, holes are being attracted and the channel will be formed here so exactly opposite to that what happened in an uh, n channel devices in n mosfets so uh, also uh, no, holes will be collected from the drain and the source region so a channel will be formed so in in p mos whenever you give a zero to the gate voltage that is the time a channel will be uh, formed like for an n mos you need to give an uh, a positive voltage and for an uh, p mos you need to give a zero voltage for the channel to be uh, formed so uh, that is what and uh, it works in the opposite direction in the complementary uh, fa fashion okay uh, the another um, uh, now if you start using uh, p mosfet as an uh, switch okay uh, you will uh, find that uh, whenever i have to uh, 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 transmit an a uh, one out here like I give VDD here and a gate, uh, I give gate equal to zero. Like I said, for PMOS, the gate uh, has to be given to uh, zero volt out here. Now, if I give a zero here, now you will find here, uh, this is constantly switched on because gate to source voltage will be, here the source to gate voltage will be uh, uh, VDD uh, uh, irrespective of what is the voltage out here. So, it is greater than the VTN cutoff voltage of this uh, transistor. So, this node will get charged to a uh, full uh, VDD. Okay, uh, whereas uh, if I have to transmit an uh, zero out here, I give a zero here we, to switch it on, I give zero here. And now this output node ne needs to be discharged to zero. That is, I am passing a zero out here. So then the current has to flow here. So uh, from here to here. So this becomes source. Now then when the output comes to the uh, threshold voltage of this uh, device, uh, what is threshold voltage? The minimum voltage that is required for this transistor to be too, uh, switched on, right? So now if when it comes to VTP, then this device gets uh, switched off so uh, so uh, pmos cannot uh, transmit a perfect in a zero it can transmit a perfect one whereas nmos can uh, transmit a perfect in a zero uh, it cannot transmit a perfect one so that is the so we make advantage of uh, these two conditions to make an uh, inverter so nmos is uh, now uh, put here and pmos is uh, put on the uh, top out here now if you see here when i uh, give a v in is equal to uh, zero Right, this NMOS will be uh, switched off, right? Because the gate it is zero, and we know if you put a zero here, the PMOS will be switched on, right? So it will be uh, switched on, and PMOS is also a uh, good uh, now uh, transmitter of one. So this entire VDD will be um, available uh, here, right? So when I give uh, V in is equal to zero. Uh, so I will get an uh, VDD out. So this uh, acts like an uh, inverter. Uh, similarly, when I give a V in equal to uh, one out here, right? This output volt, this NMOS will be uh, switched on. And now if this is uh, switched on, this output voltage uh, now will be zero. And now we know, and this will be switched off, right? So one one here. So there is no uh, gate source voltage. Both are one here. So this remains off. So you will find this node is completely discharged to zero through this uh, NMOS transistor, right? So now, uh, so this is the plot. So when you are giving one, the output falls to zero. So another uh, important thing uh, to note out here is when uh, V in is equal to zero, this is switched off. So the, there is no on direct path available from uh, VDD to ground and hence the uh, output voltage out here uh, you will see there is no uh, current only some small leakage in pico amperes range is there right and uh, similarly when V in is high okay when when V in is high uh, uh, sorry when 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 V in is uh, zero uh, this is switched off when V in is high this will be switched on but this is switched off so again there is no direct path between VDD and ground so you will find very very a uh, leakage current so the only time there will be a current consumption from VDD to ground is when this uh, no, it is transiting okay so this will be you know, when zero to one and one to zero only when it is making a uh, transition there is a possibility of uh, current now, otherwise there is no so that is the big advantage of of uh, the CMOS uh, designs. Okay. 
now uh, in order to make a different logic circuits and uh, what uh, we need in cmos consists of an pull up network and an a pull down network so uh, for all those input value of a function where the output needs to be a uh, zero okay that will be implemented with the help of an uh, pull down network okay so and wherever that function needs to be uh, no, uh, to be high that will be implemented through pull up network because uh, pmos is an a strong one and nmos is strong zero right it can uh, get uh, to zero so this is how we are going to use a pull up network and a pull down, pull down network okay to uh, implement the uh, function so we'll take some examples it will be uh, very uh, clear uh, now now suppose i have to uh, implement an, a nand gate okay uh, so for a nand gate and a 1 1 uh, has to give 0 so that means my pull pull down network uh, is 1 1 okay 1 1 so uh, 1 1 means uh, uh, it is an and of 1 and 1 right so whenever an and circuit needs to be uh, uh, implemented uh, it is in a series connection two transistors are connected in a uh, series so if you see these two nmos transistors uh, they are connected in a uh, series out here okay so so what will happen when a is 1 b is 1 this node will be pulled down to 0 so so 1 1 it will give uh, 0 out here uh, what about the uh, pull up network now if i uh, go to pull up network so first i make the uh, uh, pull down network and then i take a uh, complement of that okay uh, to implement the pull up network so i take an uh, a a, a, a a and b complement and if i take that it will give a bar and b bar so this is or so whenever there is an or uh, i take a uh, parallel connection so, okay because either this path or this path so that is or right so i take path and now it is a bar and b bar uh, since i am using an uh, pmos so I, uh, this bar is taken care of here because uh, if a is zero only then this transistor will be switched on right so that means it is a bar here automatically so i don't have to put one more uh, inverter here because this is pmos so p while implementing it by pmos this bar is already uh, taken care of so i find a bar or b bar so i put two transistors in uh, parallel out here right so this is the uh, output voltage okay uh, in, in these uh, transistor sizings and all i am not discussing in this particular uh, class this is just an uh, first degree uh, na, a course uh, if you are more interested you can uh, listen to my uh, vlsi class uh, note uh, lectures okay so uh, similarly if i have to uh, implement an a uh, nor gate okay uh, in a nor gate if you see here uh, 0 0 is uh, these three conditions like uh, either a is 1 or uh, uh, b is 1 or a is 1 or both are 1 and uh, that means this is an uh, or operation right uh, for zeros that means I, I i am going to connect these two in a uh, parallel right now here if you see uh, if a is 1 this will be pulled down to 0 b is 1 this will be pulled down to 0 so i write uh, a uh, or b and if i have to uh, 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 design the uh, p network pull up network for that i take a complement so by using de morgan's theorem it will be a bar dot b bar that is and so and means in series if it is in a series so i put these two in series uh, and then uh, and i don't i and uh, since it is bar out here about bar out here that means i'm going to use pmos right so these are going to be a uh, pmos because pmos uh, this will be uh, switched on only if it is zero so that bar is taken care of uh, here right by using pmos so this is pmos too so this is how an a nor uh, circuit uh, looks like right so we can uh, no simpler uh, similar in similar way uh, no, uh, in here also if you see here there will be no uh, static current from vdd to ground in uh, any of the uh, combinations right so now um, now if you see i can uh, only current will be flowing from vd to ground during transitions otherwise there is no direct path between vdd and ground in in all these uh, states okay uh, so now if i uh, talk about an uh, static uh, cmos right uh, design uh, say if i have to implement an f is equal to you know, this function you know, bar of uh, a dot b a and b uh, or c on d and 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 then the entire function so this this big so i have to implement the a uh, pull down network right so a uh, pull down network is uh, i take an uh, inverse uh, for pull down i have to find out when this uh, f will be zero so i take one more bar if i take one more bar this bar you know, uh, is remote so it, it simply becomes f is equal to you know, uh, a and b or c and d right so this is the way the pull down network will be uh, implemented right 
so if you see here this pull down network a b uh, c d and f and what about the uh, pull up network pull up network will be just a complement of this okay uh, now if you see here it is a and b are in uh, series so now you have to put a and b in parallel okay and then c and d is in uh, series so i put c and d in parallel right and and these this this and this together are in parallel now i put that in a series okay so this is known as taking the uh, complement okay so this is how an uh, static cmos uh, circuit is uh, designed so if i give you any function and ask you to implement with uh, cmos so you should be able to do that in your uh, exam okay uh, so i take uh, one more example now uh, if you see here this is a, a full adder so the carry we know the expression for carry is ab plus bc plus uh, ca right so if you see here and uh, if if i take an uh, an uh, c uh, common out here right in in this uh, 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 terminal okay uh, ab is there if i take an uh, c common here then it will become an uh, uh, b plus uh, a right so uh, b plus a and then uh, c okay uh, and of this will become c is common uh, uh, c and a plus b c and a plus b and then ab ab right so this is how the uh, pull down network is implemented out here uh, what about the uh, pull up network it will be uh, again uh, ab uh, is in a uh, parallel here so i put ab in series then uh, c is in series to ab so i am putting c in parallel to ab uh, and then uh, this entire thing right and uh, is in uh, parallel to something okay and what is that something uh, ab in series so ab is going to be in parallel and this entire thing is going to be in series with this so in series so this is how uh, i generate now uh, i have straight away implemented this function right uh, this function is coming as a pull down network so what i get here instead of carry i will get carry bar so i put one more inverter to get the um, carry out here right so and now if you see the uh, sum has been implemented now now sum this is the expression for the sum now since i have already generated carry i can use that on uh, a carry right and uh, to uh, uh, to generate the sum so uh, if you see here uh, this is the expression for the uh, carry so if i do some uh, algebraic ma manipulation if you substitute the value uh, i will get the value of the uh, sum expression like this right so it is in a carry and a or b or c so this is carry which is coming here carry bar okay uh, and uh, it is and and means uh, in in series this is carry bar in series with abc abc is in uh, series out here right okay uh, and also uh, uh, it is in uh, or with abc and so abc and it is in pair so this entire thing becomes the uh, pull down network now if i have to make an a uh, pull up network uh, again i have to take now now, now this is uh, c out here okay uh, now a, a b c a, which is in ana uh, 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 <coughs> so the, the this uh, uh, if you see uh, here it, it is the uh, uh, pull up network has been uh, made okay uh, uh, this particular circuit uh, is made uh, by a duality uh, uh, theorem okay so we will leave uh, this aspect uh, out here okay uh, because it is uh, not uh, merely like if you see here a b c is in parallel out here right uh, yeah okay 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 uh, this is uh, c out here uh, in series with abc okay in series with uh, c uh, no, c uh, and uh, abc as an uh, uh, or gate so now abc has become here uh, instead of parallel it has become a series out here uh, and these were in series so now this has become in a uh, parallel out here right and uh, this entire network uh, and this entire network was in a uh, parallel out here now they have become in series now these are three in series here they have got in uh, parallel out here so that is how you make the uh, complement out here right now again uh, since we have directly implemented uh, sum okay this expression we have implemented in the pull down network so this becomes an, a sum bar so you have to use an uh, inverter to get the uh, sum out here okay so uh, so that's all on the theory aspect uh, here i'll uh, show you some uh, demo also so by using uh, these expressions uh, if any uh, expression is given here uh, like some carry whatever uh, so first you need to implement the uh, pull down network uh, and then make an uh, complement of that in the 
pull up network okay and the only uh, thing which we you need to remember is uh, if this function is there and if you are going to try to implement this as it is then what you get here will be f bar out here not f and then you need to uh, use an uh, inverter like whereas in this case you know if you see here uh, uh, f is given as uh, in this form okay so if i am implementing if i am taking the complement and implementing it like in this case there is already there was a bar i have take one more complement so that complement has vanished okay now i am going to uh, implement uh, uh, this as it is okay uh, this is f bar implementation in the pull down network okay uh, so so this what we get i get here is f okay uh, because and uh, i have i have implemented f bar in the pull up net, pull down network so i get f out here okay so uh, that is the uh, thing which you need to uh, take care okay now i'll uh, show you some demo uh, of in lt spice uh, of whatever things we have uh, discussed okay thanks a lot